Let's look at this logistics sales data and see that it can get kind of complicated even to answer a simple question like, what's the average sales per day? You need to figure out what does that mean, average sales per day? So I'm going to start Excel, and I have a, uh, the version 2010, and I'm going to get some data from text in this case, and it's on the desktop, and it's this logistics sales data. And I need to import it. It's, I'm not going to use fixed width. I'm going to delimit it, or I know it's delimited. And it's delimited by tabs, uh, not by spaces. If I do spaces, you'll kind of see that things don't look quite right. The area is this, the channel is butter. No, it's distribution channel, area north, material description butter. Uh, so that's the right way uh, to go. I'll import it. So the data looks like this, and it's sorted uh, relatively nicely so that I can look at it easily. If I do end end down, I had to find the end key on this computer. Uh, so end down arrow it goes to the bottom and into the right, it goes over to the right and end up. So it's a nice way to go through uh, big chunks of data. Now the data is already sorted pretty nicely. That is uh, all the butter, all the material is together, and then by area, and the days are uh, sorted within rounds. So it's round, then day, then uh, area, then butter. Uh, so that's okay. Now these are records of sales. So there were two sales in round one on day 10 of butter in the north region, and there were three sales of butter in the north region in round three. And what I'm interested in is the average sales per day. So what does that mean? Well, it could mean that you include zeros. If there were no sales, do you include that in the average? Or do you say, uh, I want the average, if there was a sale, what's the average sale? So already it can get kind of confusing. Now the way that I would do this uh, and, and work with this data is to insert a pivot table. And to do that, it, you follow those uh, clicks that I just did, and it'll automatically select the data as long as you have the uh, cell clicked inside the contiguous chunk of data. And what I'm interested in is the quantity sold. And I'm interested in the quantity sold <clears throat> for each material in each area. So here's the total quantity sold of butter in the north region. So one thing I could do is take the average uh, of that, and that gets me pretty close. So the, the average meaning that there's 10 days and three rounds, that's 30. I take 752 divided by 30. And that would give the average uh, per day for butter. I can also add a simulation day, and it puts it into my values because it's a number. It's like, no, I want it uh, as a label. So there's the sales per day uh, for butter and in each area. And, and then I could look at this and say, well, it looks like on, uh, maybe I'm looking for seasonality or something like that. There's not as many sold on day three or something like that, although... Uh, you'd, have, you'd want to check that. Well, one way you could check that is to put simulation day as a column. So now I've got uh, the data displayed this way, and I can kind of look down and, and see consistently on, on day three, it looks like there's um, this many sold of butter in all the regions, and on day six, uh, maybe there's more variance. So you can kind of check out variance that way. So that's a pivot. If I'm interested in the um, average per day over all the rounds, uh, I can put the rounds in the columns. And for example, on day six, I had three sales in round three, and it, and it adds them all together. It sums them all together. There's the sum. And so I can work with this data 
to come up with averages. So I could take the average of 58 and 74, uh, and that would be 66. So I could calculate that in Excel. So that's the general idea. Now if I wanted to calculate the, the average for these three days, then I'd uh, take 58 and 74 and divide by three. So there's, there's different ideas of what an average can be. Now if I wanted to take an average, I'll show you that Excel doesn't particularly like these pivot charts work when you work with these formulas. So if I take the average of, let's say, those three cells and hit enter, the average is 109. You would expect that. The average is 36. That all uh, looks good. And the average is 66. Well, that's working out all right. 